A lot of people wanted me to ask you this question just because they're giving this guy your last name, but have you been following this whole Lars yeah. Sullivan yeah. stuff? Yeah. One thing after another with this guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. There's no relation though, right? No, to there's no separate. relation. And what I don't understand is, is how did they not vet this? How did this happen? And then the, from what I, ha I gather, and I'm, this is no light matter, because mental health is a very difficult thing. And uh, the TV you know, no shows due to the panic attack. Yeah, and then this next one. But before that, it was the anti uh, homosexual oh, comments. Right, and now this pops up. How? Uh, and th then they find him a hundred thousand dollars for those comments, and now this pops up. Where do they go here? Because this is a very difficult position they're in. I mean, they're all inclusive. You know, the, the business has changed. Uh, there's probably plenty of gay, both girls and guy wrestlers. It's the way of the world. It's this. It's, and they talk about being inclusive, and they bring up that they had the first gay wrestler. Now, how do you do? You whitewash it, or do you have to let him sit for two years, or what? And if they do let him sit, how many years is he going to lose for drawer money? So they're in a situation that I would not want to be in if I was. Any, well, he's out with an injury now, anyways. From okay. what I understand, they still put a new toy of him out. So they didn't pull the toy, even though if you search his name, all that stuff right. shows up on the internet. From W Grim eighty eight, uh, what are your thoughts on, on Lars Sullivan, who had made all those bigoted comments, and then it ends up that. He was in uh, gay pornography after all that. Oh, goodness. You know, I, I I was shocked because when I hurt my elbow, I had the Tommy John surgery to my elbow, very serious surgery. Uh, it's very common in baseball, not common in wrestling. I had that in January 2017. So eventually I had the rehab a little bit at the Performance Center in Orlando and I remember working out with him several times and he was very nice to me, very kind. Like, like he was asking me, how's your elbow? Talking like this, you know, how's your elbow? Do you need me to help you strip off the weights and stuff like that? That's how he talked. He was very kind and very nice to me. So when I saw, saw that stuff, I'm like, ugh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I mean, <laughs> oh, what am I gonna say? All I can say is that he, he he was very kind to me. It's just, I don't know, man. I I don't know. You, you're not going to catch me doing that stuff. Are you surprised that they're giving this Lars Sullivan guy another chance, being that it came out he's a gay porn star, and then he made comments about gays that were anti-gay comments before, and he seems to be injury-prone as well, but he looks like he's getting another shot. It's funny you say that because – uh, you know, I feel like I would have had no idea that he was getting another shot, but I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw a video uh, or a clip of him making an entrance. And then I think I started realizing, like at first I thought it was old, but then I think I saw virtual fans in the background. And then like it started dawning on me that, oh yeah, oh my gosh, they just gave this guy another shot. Like this has to be new. And then I think back yeah, because I had heard about the story. I remember I was in Wisconsin uh, or Iowa, and I was in the car with Jerry Lawler and Terry Runnels for an indie show, and that we had this big conversation about this this guy. And uh, yeah, and it was just shocking, man. I wouldn't have known outside of the fact that I just had been scrolling Instagram and saw him making an entrance, and I just thought to myself, "What the fuck? <laughs> Am I not supposed to curse on here? Is that going to demonetize this?" No, no. Okay. I just don't know if anyone's going to be able to take him seriously again. But I, uh, I don't know either, man. That's really that's a really, that's a good question. It really is. Like I would have thought that no, he wouldn't have gotten another shot because that's some 
pretty damning stuff. It's not a good look, you know, and, uh, you know, think about it, man. If any kids Google this guy, I mean, what's going to come up, you know? So, uh, although, but I don't, you know, it's great he's getting another opportunity, but I, it's just, yeah, it, it's perplexing. The big news today, and I'd, I'd be bad if I didn't ask this, and I won't grill you anything other than this, Teddy, but are you surprised that Lars Sullivan got released? Well, you know what? I really didn't know a lot about him. I had a chance to meet him. I think I, not at this last row, I was at, oh, I went to the SmackDown uh, live deal and where I did the court thing with JBL. And I had a chance to see him there and I talked with him for a little bit and he seemed like a real nice guy, but that was basically the first time that I'd met him. But I've never, I remember telling him, you know, I said, man, you got a great look. I mean, this look you got is really good. I said, they'll, they'll probably do something with you, man, if you just, you know, you do the right thing. And I did tell him that, but I really didn't know him, but I did just hear all these rumors about him. So I don't know whether they're true or not, but I mean, if they are true, I mean, you can't have a guy around like that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.